What's up guys, I'm back like I never last. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the top three stocks for December. I'm gonna go over exactly why these companies needs to be on your watch list and if there's a huge potential for growth in these companies. So I'm gonna cover this important information and at the end, we're gonna go over some important economic reports. So make sure you stay tuned. Now let's get right into the video. Before we get into it, I appreciate if you can hit the like button. If you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. So as you can see, we here have the stock market that was relatively going higher on Friday and the, some sectors are really booming to the upside. We have semiconductors, financials, energy, and travel stocks. And they've been breaking out to the upside. So the stocks I'm gonna be talking about in this video are also one of them in the energy sector and two of them are actually in travel. So, so the first company I'm gonna talk about is gonna be two questions about HP. Now this company is the oil and gas drilling company and the stock performs very well in December. Usually when you look at the history for the past many decades this company performs very well in the month of december so this is also a dividend paying stocks and there's a lot of institutions that own this company more than 91 percent of the shares of this company is owned by institutions and only 0.5 percent owned by insiders you know so we have the share outstanding of approximately more than 104 million shares so out of the four out of the 104 million shares you know 91 percent of it is held by institutions. that is a great sign when you see there's a lot of institution investors involved in this company and when you look at exactly what they do they're oil and gas drilling company and they have locations across the world so north america south america Middle East and Africa. So they work across the globe. And when you're trying to figure out exactly what is the good price point to get involved in this company, when you look at how the price action has been going for this company for the past few days, the past few weeks, you know, the stocks have been breaking out to the upside. There's a lot of money flowing into the energy sector. And as you can see, it had a mini pullback and it broke out of the $24, $25 area right around over here and staying above that. So this is a great entry price point. You can definitely risk off of, you know, $20, $23 area for a potential swing, you know. So this company performs very well on December. So we might expect even more upside for this company for the next few weeks to come in December. So I also mentioned this company is a dividend paying stock. So if you want to collect dividend while holding the stock, this is also a great opportunity. So Second company we're gonna talk about is gonna be Royal Caribbean, ticker symbol RCL. So as you can see, this stock has been recovering very nicely. You know, this is the March, the May dip right around over here that happened due to COVID-19. The stock has been recovering pretty well. Now it's getting closer to $100. And you know, we have institution ownership of this company is around 61.5% of the entire float, which is 187.9 million shares. And we have insider ownership around 8.2%. So there's been a lot of talks with vaccine, of course. You know, there are some countries that are out there that are going to implement the Pfizer vaccine, like the United Kingdom, etc. So that is fantastic. You know, when people get the vaccine, maybe they're going to be more reluctant to travel. And once they start traveling, you know, these companies can potentially get back to normal and they can potentially get more revenue. So when you actually look at when you actually look at an ideal price point and get involved in this company right now at this moment, it broke out of the $80 area right around over here and it's actually staying above that price point. So if you risk off of this area right around over here, $80, it's an ideal price point to get involved in it and potentially swing trade it, you know, because this company can definitely bounce and it performs very well in December, just like the other company that I talked about, which is HP. So historically, these two companies Royal Caribbean and HP also performs very, very well in December. So if the momentum continues, the stock can also perform very well. So you have to be careful with this travel stocks, you know, in case, you know, there's some cases that are rising across the states and, you know, that the lockdown might potentially happen in some areas. So if the stocks decide to sell off, it might have a huge impact. It might sell off to the downside. But I believe, you know, these the worst case scenarios that can potentially happen is for the stock to eventually go to below $80. But if you want to swing trade it for the entire month of December or hold it for the long term, of course, there's an ideal company to get involved in it. So now let's talk about the third and last company. So the third and last company is going to be American Airlines. American Airlines stickers and bar AAL is sitting at $16.40. So there's two positive catalysts that can help the stock prices significantly go higher for this company. The first one of the stimulus package get passed, you know, airline companies are definitely going to be getting a piece of that huge package, you know, so this can potentially drive the stock price to go higher. And of course, we have the positive news for vaccine also helping this company 
recover and go to the upside. So this is going to be a long term hold or a swing trade if you want to get involved in it. But this company can definitely potentially bounce back from the lows that the load has over here. The 53 week low that I made is approximately $8.25 and the 52 week high is $30. So it's sitting right in between, you know, the highs and the lows is $16. So if it could potentially recover, it, could, it can go to like $20 or it can even go to like $25, you know, so within the next few months, depending upon how things happen, how the vaccinations unfold, etc. So definitely keep an eye on these three companies. Two of them are travel companies, Royal Caribbean, American Airlines, and HP, which is going to be the ticker symbol for the energy company that we talked about. So also, if you want to get involved in this electric vehicle companies in China, so December has been really rough for these companies. So if you see your IFC, great opportunity when these companies sell off and you want to hold them for the long term, this is a great opportunity, you know, but you just have to be patient with them with your entry. Yeah, I know we have NEO. We have a lot of catalysts that could potentially affect this stock that is coming up pretty soon. We have NEO Day that's coming up. So depending upon how the stock behaves, if it continues to sell off, if it goes below $40, that is a great ideal price point to get involved in in December if it could potentially dip lower and lower. So we also have XPEV stock, you know, XPEV is also working with NEO too. So that is a great thing to know and the stock has been pulling aggressively to the downside. It hit a high of like close to $75. Now it's sitting at $49. So if it can potentially pull back all the way to $40 or it can potentially go below even $40, it's a great dip buying opportunity for the month of December. So definitely keep an eye on these electric vehicle companies, NEO, XPEV, if you are looking for it to get involved, if you missed this huge run up that happened, and if you expect these companies to potentially grow in the future, expand, and if the delisting issue is not going to affect them within the next three years, I think these stocks can definitely be making new all time highs within the next few months, within the next few years. So definitely, this is a great dip buying opportunity for you if you see huge potential. So definitely keep them in your watch list too. Now, let's talk about what are the important economic reports we need to be watching out for, for tomorrow. So for Monday, December 7, we have at 3 p.m. We got the consumer credit. It's going to be for the period of October. So the previous was $16 billion, you know. So that's the only reports that we need to pay attention to for tomorrow. So if you have any questions, any comments, make sure you drop in the comment section below. So make sure you be careful with these companies. If you want to get involved with them, make sure you manage your risk. And if you want to get four free stocks, join the Discord or join the Patreon page. Links available in the description box below. But I catch you on the video. Let's get it. Have a wonderful day.